I see everybody is talking about virtue signaling these days. And I see one flag that example in our own country. Now, there's this homosexual issue that has cropped up in Kenya. They want to pass a bill in the, the Supreme Court to make it to legalize homosexuality. The LGBTQ movement that is sweeping across the world. They, um, this has become more than just about um, rights. It's more about power. Uh, the power to exercise their will and their ideology over everyone. What happened to separation of church from state should apply to any kind of ideology. Now that being said, I'm not against um, the anyone from having basic human rights, the, the right to live, the right to work, the right to eat, basic human rights, you know. But it is not um, in your place to impose your will and your views on the general majority of people, especially considering the type of culture we live in, in Africa, where uh, these uh, things are not the norm. The norm is that um, people um, sexually associate in a straight and heterosexual way. But that being said, I'm really surprised that this is the issue that really gets the politician up in arms. You see them in the, in the parliament, they are arguing and uh, throwing tantrums, uh, trying to show how much solidarity they have with the rest of the country, standing against this issue. I've never been a moral authority. These are the people who came and enslaved us. And they came and colonized us. And they came and treated us like animals. And now they want to tell us to behave like animals. Which is good. I have no problem with that. But I wonder, do these people see the bigger picture? Out of all the problems we are facing in this country, hunger, unemployment, lack of security, um, um, so many problems we have in this country that need proper attention, that is proper funding, that is proper legislation and policies, and the, and, um, the anti-competitive practices that are rampant in this country, where if you are just a small and medium business owner or wanting to start out in any kind of business venture in this country, you'll be egged out, edged out by the big political and business interests that have entrenched themselves into the deep state whereby they have ways to get their products in the country without charging, being charged anything. And their markups are ridiculous. We can't buy anything in this country uh, without ridiculous 10x, 20x markups on the price. They will get this piece of salt from China and sell it, uh, get it for, for 50, 50 cents and sell it to you for 500 shillings. Very ridiculous things that are happening in this country. So uh, in the midst of all that stuff, you want to tell me that the thing that really gets you up in arms in those parliaments and those seats of power that you have been given supposedly to serve the people, those are the things that really get you up in arms. In the Bible, that will be called, um, they strain out a nut and swallow a camel. So you focus on the, on the little issues and you, you ignore the big issues, the major corruption that is running rampant in this country is so ridiculous. It is so deep. I wonder how you think this country can survive more than 20 years from now. It can't. I can't see a future for this country at the rate at which we're going. You think um, in order to fight these Western ideologies that are coming away properly, the thing we would need to do would be to strengthen our country. First of all, the country needs to be strengthened economically. Otherwise, you cannot effectively stand against any ideology when you have no say. You see all these African leaders um, trying to raise their heads and to stand up to the West. First of all, the pineapple is hard. I have never ha seen a hard pineapple until I saw the one in London. 
It is less sweet and has got an ammonia-like pungent taste. You know, before you can fight uh, the big bad gorilla, don't you think it would be prudent to get off the little monkey on, on your back? The crippling poverty that is gut-wrenching to the African population. Stop trying to virtue signal and show how moral you are on one issue when the things that really matter, the metrics that really matter, human uh, happiness index, the, the, uh, the employment, the finances, the economy, all these things that really matter, you don't know how to, to create uh, f uh, factories, you don't know how to create basic jobs, you don't know how to create industries, you don't know how to create anything. You don't know how to create anything. The only thing uh, at importation you show him machine. Really, it's a it's a sad situation. Now, while it's good to uphold a certain moral code, remember, morality is not just about one issue. There are practical aspects to morality, and the practical aspects is the one the biggest one the African politicians miss the Africans in general. That's why you cannot uh, stand up to the West. Let me tell you something about the West. The powers that be, the Western powers that be, the big political and, and, and industrial industries, the big farmers and all these people who are promoting these ideas, if they want to promote anything in any country in this world, you can rest assured they will use any means to achieve their goals, any means. They will use sanctions, they will destabilize governments, they will install their puppets, they will cause wars, they will do anything. My God, they will make Al Shabaab more powerful than the government of Kenya. That's how much, how weakened we are. If the Western governments can cause such a big and powerful country like Russia to go to war, Russia is a nuclear capable country, the second largest in the world. Осталось три секунды. Две. Одна. Ноль. Взрыв сопровождался световой вспышкой необычной силы. В этот момент самолет-носитель находился в сорочке и последующие свечения, несмотря на сплошную облачность, были видны в радиусе до... Плевой столб, поднимающийся с земли, быстро увеличился в объеме. They can cause them to go to war. What do you think they can do to little Kenya? We have no bite. We only have bucks. Pack off, pack off. The world respects power. And right now, we don't have that. Because the politicians have refused to look and to be long-sighted, see into the future. All they think about is their, their, their bellies and their, their now, here and now. I have to be the rich man. Who told you you'll be the rich man forever? If the West gets their means, do you think they will let you hold on to any power? They are feeding you trinkets so that you can back off just enough for them to establish whatever they want to establish in these lands. And after that, you will see the true colors of what they are trying to do. There's something going on in this world. All this stuff, if you do them, uh, you have been seeing, Andrew Tate, Everybody all this stuff that has been happening in the world, the weird stuff you don't understand, it's not aimless. There is something that is going on. The World Economic Forums, all this, they, were, they are trying to take land from people um, in Denmark, from farmers, forcing them to give up their land. There is something so deep that is going on. And you, uh, na, to me, what is it? 